Three myths about being a real estate agent. Number one myth, I can be successful selling real estate part-time. Now, I guess this depends on the part of the country that you're in and your average price point. Here in La Crosse, Wisconsin, with a $250,000 average price point, it is very hard to be successful selling real estate on a part-time basis. There's a lot more expenses that going that go into being a real estate agent and having a real estate license, and it's not just collect a 3% commission and sell three houses and make an extra $50,000 a year. It's just very hard to do. It's very hard as a part-time agent to compete with full-time agents and full-time real estate companies like ours. At the end of the day, you wanna be able to serve your clients to the best of your ability. And if you work a nine to five job and you're not able to communicate with your clients during that time, and you can only look at, show, look at houses on the evenings and weekends, it's just tough to provide a really good service for your clients. Second myth is that I get to keep 100% of my commission. I get that 3% or that 6% of whatever the sale price is. That's just not true. Team structure versus independent structure and every brokerage has different uh, commission models, but none of them you get to keep 100% of your commission 100% of the time. So you have to account for that if you are thinking about selling real estate part-time or at all. Make sure you're looking into those different options and comparing uh, commission structure, but also comparing the value that you get for that commission model. And the third myth is that people are just going to call you out of the blue once you're licensed. It doesn't happen that way. Unfortunately, I've had a lot of close family and friends that you see on Facebook, oh, we just bought our first house, or oh, we just sold our house, and you're like, shoot, I, why didn't they call me? And it's never a good feeling to see that, but at the end of the day, it's about somebody who's top of mind when they're in that decision-making state. Whether that's a family friend or if it's a random lead off of an affiliate website, generally they are gonna work with whoever comes to mind when they are in that time to make a decision. So when you get a real estate license, people are not just gonna call you, you do have to actively reach out and prospect and follow up and connect with people and nurture your relationships.